he had tried organic before, and it's very possible that he got a bad company. Right. But even if he'd gotten a good company, he, since he cannot see what's going on precisely with it, but he can see his ad showing up when he pays for it, he discredits the organic side of it right. and puts value into the paid side of it because Google's branded and there's a direct cause and correlation deal where you can see, pay the money, see the ad. Right. Yeah. And That's he the, pays through the nose because of that, and then people will will completely miss what's going on on the organic side. Right. And it's their fault because they choose not to get educated enough to understand it, or they choose to ignore the situation. Right. But he did that years ago and stopped working on it and went with this company. And unfortunately for him, this company who he put so much trust and time in and so much money, they um, they didn't help him with it at all. Hey there guys, it's Nolan and Jason here with Plumbing Webmasters. Howdy. And um, you guys know we search, uh, specialize in plumbing SEO and uh, pay-per-click management and stuff like that. Today we're gonna talk about PPC versus organic. And this is a new series segment we're gonna call True Client Stories. So True Client Stories can be, you know, us talking to somebody on the phone with kind of a common question or dilemma that comes up or it can be an actual client of ours that's, that, but, but most of this is stuff that people have trouble with when we're talking to them before they're a client. Right. Because yeah, right. most of these are issues that you guys are interested in. And what's interesting about this one um, is that, so I was talking to this guy, and his name's Bob. I, I use Bob as a drill name anyway, just so, but this guy's this name is- This is an actual Bob? This is an actual Bob. And um, he's looking at becoming a client and the reason that it's so interesting is because he's a, he's a plumber and he's, he's paid 10000 to 15000 a month in pay-per-click for five years to this company. And, and you know, wow. and, 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 and so his website doesn't have any optimization at all. In fact, it's been right. completely ignored. In fact, the people that he uses for pay-per-click use landing pages for all and of that, this That's stuff. their whole strategy is... Yeah. Yeah. More, more, more money. Obviously, we're going to, you know, give an explanation of why and what and what's the difference. But so for me, the reason people use landing pages is because the website wasn't built well and they want to control all the all the um, all the data coming out. Right. You know? So that, so they really, you know, if, if they're using landing pages, there's something special feeling about it to the client, but it really doesn't help anything. Right. And it allows them, now I don't have a problem with landing page, but if a website's built up properly, you can just use your website. Yeah, there's, there's really only two reasons to use a landing page. One is to be able to have very specific metrics showing these clicks are going to this page and be able to show exactly just for the, how much you're getting. Right. The only other one is if you're doing a special, special promotion. Special offer. Yep. You know, special offer, special promotion. Yep. And that's the specific thing you want people to see first when they go to the site. That's the other use of so, the page. So since the last few years though, Google Analytics really splits out what comes onto the website really well, whether it's right. pay-per-click or right. whether it's organic or whether it was direct traffic. Yeah. So all this stuff. So, that, the, so the first thing I said, you don't really you need it. You don't really anymore. need it. I, I yeah. will tell you that I think that people do it more nowadays just for control over that client relationship. Right, yeah. And, and I don't have an issue with that really in particular because they could argue that it's better that it helps out a little bit and at least from the client perspective i will give it at least this nothing should be going to that but the pay-per-click right now you know what are the chances that the company that does this for pay-per-click only gives them the best accurate data i don't know because jason and i both know that you know when you look at analytics and especially depending on what analytics platform you use you can really get some different results out of it right yeah, so, you can uh, you can cook those numbers pretty good. So the, the the point is, why do you need a landing page if Google already separates this and it actually shows how many clicks there are in your you know your my client center your, in your Google Ads account? Yeah, it so shows how many clicks you are. It can show you on a per page basis where those clicks came from already. Right. So that it's not it's mo I think it's the the PPC only guys. I think it's mostly something to do, they do 
It's a, well, number one out it, of habit. It, it looked, they'd always done. Th- they had to do it years yeah, ago. Once, one time yeah, they, they had, had to, do, to it. do it. And the other is maybe legitimizes um, their fees. Yeah, I, th- I think it makes yeah. it look like well, we've we've added all these landing pages to your site for the ads to go to, yeah. and the client thinks that that's necessary, and these guys are doing it some work. It feels like they're doing more. Right. It feels right. like <clears throat> it's going to do more. That it's something special, but in reality, what exactly did it do? And, and I, I, don't, I don't like, again, th- there might be some, you know, in my head, like a 30% argument for this, but really what did it do besides to justify the fee that is not much labor effort? And so let's right. talk about this for a minute. So we're not, listen, we're not dogging either one. Right. I mean, I, I don't. I but don't yeah, even, as much as they're sort of unnecessary, landing pages also don't. It doesn't hurt anything, yeah, it but it doesn't have an adverse effect. But I will side. say, for the purpose of talking to Bob, that that when I look at this situation, and we'll explain this here because I've talked to Bob now. I woke up early today to talk to Bob because he's in a different time zone. Ah. Not that I come into work on uh, early in the morning, as Jason likes to point out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's because I'm, I'm under a lot of stress, yeah. man. <laughs> I play my little violins for you, but. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so I'm up early talking to Bob. I'm in my car. I'm talking to Bob, and I'm going through all this stuff. So I've had quite a few conversations with him. Okay. And, and I, I've been describing this, and I like this True Client Stories series, by the way. Cause, um, I came up with that name. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Yeah. It's, nice. It's, like, it's like a crime investigation or something. You know? But, but um, anyway, so, so talking to him, and he's trying to come to terms with He doesn't mind spending money on PPC. He said some, some months it's 10000 some it's twelve, some it's sixteen. But most of the time, he said it's about twelve. He stops it when he gets all of his trucks busy. Right. So if he has a little busier week, and this is going to dovetail into organic, of course, then he slows down the pay-per-click spend. Right. Right. Which is a really smart thing to do instead of just letting it run out and not being able to service people. Right. So, right. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, over the years of doing this, some of his clicks are now a hundred bucks a clip. Yeah. Um, for stuff like a water heater replacement or something. And he's up somewhere in the Northeast. I don't. I don't think given up the Secretary of the United States and the name Bob. And I, I don't think anybody's <laughs> going to track him down. I don't think. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I know that guy. Yeah. Screw him. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he's a good guy. He's 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 hardcore Northeastern guy. You know, he, he's he's pretty hardcore. Um, and. Uh, I did think about that, by the way. He sounded older than me, and he's like dogging it early in the morning. You know, I'm having to call Bob because he's like up on it. You know, wow. early, and so, and I can tell he's done business a while, but he he doesn't hate these guys. He does business with, but he's been doing this a while, and he ultimately is feeling. Here's the deal about the pay per click. He's feeling irritated, and 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 Bob probably hasn't dissected the psychology of his emotional responses. Likely not. <laughs> but I have dealt what, 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 When I think self-analyst, I think plumber. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, but, but I don't, I mean, it's not that. It's just that I have talked to so many people over the years that I know what's going on with Bob. Right. In fact, that's what I call all my people's Bob, right? So I know what's happening with him. He's upset and is manifesting this anger and, and, and he's transferring and talking to me about it. And he doesn't even know what to explain except he's mad at them because they won't tell him when his credit card doesn't go through. Because he's got, it's so much money coming through one bank account that he has one bank account just to pay Google. So You're just has, dedicated to that, has wow. Google dinging 500 bucks at a time like they do. Yeah. And then he has another little fail safe that is it goes under, he doesn't like, he knows how much he's going to spend each month. But he doesn't like keeping more than a, a minimal amount of money in there. Right. So he keeps a minimal amount of money and he has to replenish it like 10 or, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Like he's constantly putting in there the Google's minimum block. It replenishes up to 30 times per month because it has such a minimum on it. Wow. And, but, but Google sometimes goes in and goes ping, ping. And then as soon as Google pings it twice, they'll just like, Oh, you fool, you didn't pay us, we ain't charging you again. So they might not even charge again, you know? And so the web company has to do it. And he's mad at that, but that's not really what Bob's mad at. Should Bob increase the amount of money in the account? Oh, hell yeah, he should. Yeah. He's being very unreasonable. Did I explain that to him? No. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Hey, Bob, 
get over the fact that you're spending the 15 grand. And so I don't, because I... How long did you say you've been doing it? Five years. Wow. So I don't even know how much money that is. 150 grand a year, $750,000, right? Yeah, it's a chunk. So he's at 750 grand. And he's not, he's like, oh, I don't mind spending money to make money. A lot of guys make that statement. But he's yeah, getting... Yeah, I, I, I clench up when I hear that statement because we have, I've yet to hear it and have it be true. Yeah, so, so Bob is but this is in in his case it's true yeah it apparently <laughs> right is. he's spending yeah. the money he's his anger is growing obviously because the amount of money that he pays per click and the amount of return that he's getting is diminishing right and it creates this building anger and this is a pretty common story very common theme yeah yeah so so we don't have an issue because five years ago when he started he was probably paying twenty bucks a click. Um, you know, five or years 15. ago, I'm gonna guess the the some of the highest ones like um, depending on the market. He's in a major metropolitan congested area, and depending on the market that he was in back then, on the <clears> water <throat> heater, he might have been paying like forty or fifty dollars, right? Okay. And so it's it's doubled or or gone up two hundred fifty percent. In the meantime, of course, the costs for his services have not gone up by two hundred fifty percent. No. <laughs> And so, so, in fact, he may have had to discount them to account for competition and he might more have, pressure in his market. Just depending. You never know. Right yeah. now, in this economy, I say he's probably risen, uh, but they certainly haven't gone up by two hundred fifty percent. So Bob's anger is is raising as he does this, and he's not really. This isn't a hot headed guy. He's just he's actually rationally talking to me about stuff. And so he's talking about it. So yeah, we'd love to manage your pay per click. You know, we're we're a Google Ads partner, and we can handle this work. And and. Um, and he, you know, said you'd be great to work with on that. And and you know, probably by now Bob should have quit paying for the hundred dollar clicks, you know, and done some adjustments to it. Now if somebody's charging like twelve or fifteen thousand dollars a month. Here's another thing. So if your if your company is pay per click based only, so then what is the, you know, what's the motivation for them to adjust that budget? So that Bob pays less. There, there is no motivation. Yeah, they have absolutely none. In fact, they're gonna, it's they're obviously. gonna go for higher. If you call them and say I want to spend less next month, they're gonna try to talk you out of it. Right. Yeah, that's a bad move, Bob, because now you're gonna you get less clicks. You maintain your position in the you, market, and someone yeah. might outbid that position, and next month it would go up even more. Let's get more aggressive and spend <laughs> more money and um, and work on some conversion <laughs> metrics, which they absolutely can't hardly change at this point, right? Right. So, Cause they've been doing it for five years. Yeah. So, so this company had no, so, so, so pay-per-click in and of itself, we're very tight with the pay-per-click campaign. So if we do use pay-per-click, we're very, very tight with it. So we're not going to advise someone to pay for a hundred dollar click. I Generally mean, not. We, we don't, we would rather keep a client long term. Bob has stayed here for too long though. You right. Know? So well, he, <clears throat> a lot of people make this mistake with pay per click. It's very easy to get addicted to pay per click. Yeah. Because you pay the money, you see your company at the top of the page. If you search, you respect you the get platform. The clicks, you, respect, you respect the platform. Yeah. Meaning they'll pay more. Yeah, yeah. Boom, and you get more results. There's it's there's no guesswork. You know exactly what's going on. It's hard science instead of soft science. So he per probably continued to pay per click. I, when I say he should have left the relationship, he should leave the relationship because the next topic we're going to get onto is, is organic. Right. So his website, organic website, is five, six, seven, eight years old. It's like tw he's been online for like twelve years or wow. something. If if he had done anything remotely like a good, a better effort, right. he'd be a rock star. Now. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So he probably should have left because this company completely didn't do anything to organic effort. And Bob being the nice guy, if you want to call it that, or the guy that stayed too long, is calling the company and saying, well, I'm going to talk to him, Nolan. I'm going to give him a chance. I said, a chance to do what? To work on something that they obviously don't do and don't have infrastructure for and don't have the ability to, to do? And, or, or motivation. Or to motivation do. or want to help you with it. Right. I said, so our goal here would not to be to cancel pay-per-click because we like it. It'd be to diminish it and and or or leave it, but to get a three to 500% better return on organic. Right. So as your organic's gone up, and I explained this to him, I said, Bob, because he was talking to him, he's like, oh, I'm scared of this and that. And I said, well, stay with them. We don't care as far, you know, we'd like to have all your business, but if you're concerned about it, they're not doing anything on organic. So let us have the organic. You can switch to the pay-per-click later and let us do the organic for you. 
So you can start to do it. Let us it? demonstrate how much less you have to pay to get that same number of clicks on organic than you do on this particular play. plumber does like HVAC too. So he's everything. So this oh, wow. is going to be like a huge yeah. website in a in a really congested area. It's in one of those northeast areas. It's the area is congested. The town's fairly big. It's not like mega towns of the south. It's like, but it's a mega area. Yeah. Gotcha. So so he needs city pages. He needs. He needs content across the board for plumbing and HVAC, so this is gonna be like dozens and dozens of pages. He needs like 25,000 words to start and all that. But he has nothing and he's got this old effort and he doesn't have, oh, this is another deal. He does tons and tons and tons of uh, business. This is a busy guy, been around forever, pays for new business and services existing clients. So he's, he's a very busy company, but because Bob's kind of hardcore and he hasn't been asking for reviews, He's got about 12 or 13 reviews and they're kind of bad. Uh. So now that now I know this about reviews, I, overall he, he runs his business well, he's a sharp enough guy and, and he's fairly nice about stuff, but he's kind of hardcore. And so if you're, if you're doing hundreds and hundreds of service calls each year, you never ever ask for a review, you are gonna have a low rating online. Yeah, because the only people, if you're not soliciting a review, if you're not yeah, saying, hey, please leave people. us a review if you're satisfied. We talked about it, actually. Yeah, then the only people that are ever going to review you are the ones who are angry enough to go look you up online just to trash talk. So since this company is only doing pay-per-click, and that's all this company does anyway, and they completely ignored his online organic presence, his or organic ranking, his design and code base and content and his citations and his and his reviews the list yeah <laughs> he ignored all of this or they ignored it and he paid plenty of money to have this done right this could have right. been included and i and, and we'll talk that about they could have broken off a small portion yep of given a how much very he was paying small them, portion yeah a fraction and he could and, have and he could have had it all he could have had almost as many clicks or half as many clicks and what she would end up doing is paying a small portion for organic and then throttling down. He could actually immediately, because of the age of the website, take out the cost for organic on a very robust effort and immediately recoup through oh, as yeah. soon as it's spidered. Yeah. And not skip a beat and not spend a dime yeah, more yeah, he, he'd, be, he'd be a 60 days happy. Yes, kind of he thing. would. And then, he'd, and then he'd be able to take his you know, he could take like 12,000 down and then he could reduce it and reduce it as the months went on and he got more clicks. Right. Now, the re it's so um, neglected that since, since they didn't help him with reviews, which we have, you know, righteous reviews that we use and uh, help people with an entire repu manage reputation management suite of services, he would have had a 4.5 or higher rating by now with all the jobs he does, he would have 100, reviews, which would have helped with map placement and organic and everything else. But mm -hmm. what has happening right now, and maybe where some of the anger is coming from, not just because of the rising competition for click cost, is that people who do click do want to still see a review, and there he sits with a you know less than three star rating. Oh, wow. And now okay. his conversion is rate is tanking on the clicks. He's paying, he's having to pay for more clicks now right. to get a sale because his conversion And they cost more money. Reviews. And yeah. they cost more money. Wow. So Bob can feel it and we didn't go into his financial situation or anything. I have a feeling. How many trucks does he run? I don't remember. I didn't ask him. I have a feeling he's financially stable, but he's watching the bank account and he's earning less money. Right. You know, and he's like, well, I'm really not happy. I don't know why exactly, but I'm just flat out not happy. I mean, even if it's only five trucks. Yeah. And he's keeping them busy. That's a if you're on something like Righteous Reviews, that's a lot of check-ins. Oh man, he could have a hundred reviews overnight, yeah, and then all of a sudden show up in the pack three. Yeah, and those reviews dovetail into conversion rates. I mean, we'd get his review deal fixed up quickly, and his increase in just conversion from what he's paying on pay per click would make him happy with what we're doing. Right. You know. Right. Um, before he even experienced, there's just there's so many pieces missing when someone just does pay per click. Right. You know. Again, not to disparage pay per click, we use it. We think it's great. But and I'm going to quote an old, a slightly old statistic here. We're probably going to have to get the updated one soon. Seventy six percent. Seventy six percent of search clicks go to the organic results. So when you are paying for pay per click, you are before. 
anything else happens, you have already paid for a smaller piece of the pie. You're yeah. paying more money for a smaller piece for one of quarter of the pie. Right. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's a situation that should have been done a long time ago. And since since you know, here's another thing to talk about. So on these true client stories, the he had tried organic before, and it's very possible that he got a bad company. Right. But even if he'd gotten a good company, he, since he cannot see what's going on precisely with it, but he can see his ad showing up when he pays for it. He discredits the organic side of it right. and puts value into the paid side of it because Google's branded and there's a direct cause and correlation deal where you can see, pay the money, see the ad. Right. Yeah. And That's he the, pays through the nose because of that and then people will, will completely miss what's going on on the organic side. Right. And it's their fault because they choose not to get educated enough to understand it or they choose to ignore the situation. Right. But he did that years ago and stopped working on it and went with this company. And unfortunately for him, this company who he put so much trust and time in and so much money, they um, they didn't help him with it at all. Yeah. No one spoke to him about anyway, it. You, you were talking about their motivation. Yeah. <clears throat> They're not motivated to work on organic because no, organic costs less. <laughs> and if they move over to organic, he's going to see if it's done right, he's all of a sudden going to see the benefit of it, and then he's going to lower the PVC more so, and more. more. Over time, more and more of the budget goes into Oregon. So we're happy to sell pay-per-click management, but we don't require it or throw it upon everybody. Yeah, I would argue that anybody that requires it and says it's a package deal and you have to do it, has very, very little motivation. Well, let me just re-say it. I've done it too damn long. I know damn well they have almost <laughs> no motivation and they'll do these package deals and bundle this stuff up and your organic will be crap. Right. That, so that I mean, that used that's to, com that in is some common. places still is, the common thing is to charge you X amount a month, put up a really basic website. If they build your website at all, they might just use your old one. And then most of the money goes in. So at least they did him a favor for that. At least they didn't lie to him about doing organic and charging. Yeah, I'll for give them props for I'll that. I'll give them they're, props they're for that. They're doing exactly what they said they did. They did what they got paid to do. Right. And they probably did a pretty good job of it. But because they ignored the other stuff, that, uh, but most of these, most people that push the pay per click as a, as a must have, they, well, I don't know of one who doesn't do a piss poor effort on organic. Right. And right. then that basically sits there. It's just line items of nickeling and diming more added clients. At least most of the money he got charged was paid towards Google. And I mentioned the five hundred dollars, so I did double check. It was a it was a transparent billing process. They're actually yeah. better than most in that case. They they're, are better they're, than they're most. actually they're at the better top than most of the heap of that of that group. But they're not as good as us. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> because because they ignored this most basic thing. I have, um, I should talk about a lead based deal. That's a different, uh, a, a, a different podcast, but, uh, I need leads. I need leads, man. I need leads, man. That's a whole different uh, true client we, story. We'll do this. We'll do uh, a different one on that. Yeah, one. we'll do this one. It's good. I don't want to go <laughs> into it. Uh, <laughs> I need leads. Coming soon. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So anyway, so it, listen, you want, you, you're probably, you know, a lot of people do pay-per-click. It can work together. Um, There's actually times when pay-per-click is best. Yeah. If you have, a, you're a you're a plumber. You've got an area. You're doing your organics doing good, and then there's a flood. Yeah. Or a freeze. Freeze area. Yeah. Um, all of a sudden. Restoration guys. Yeah. So. Other people are going to be coming in, and they are going to be pay-per-clicking and taking the top spot on the page. Yeah, because all of a sudden there's a rush of business, and you should probably do it at those times too. Yeah, it's it's a good thing to do then. A lot of a lot of people though, by the way, get organic going strong enough, and since it does have a three to five hundred percent better return over pay per click on average, they just they that's all they do. Yeah, and then other ones will supplement a little pay per click, or they'll supplement a lead source, or or supplement something like that. Yeah, and uh, and and that can all make sense. <clears throat> I, I wasn't here. I mean, pay-per-click versus organic wasn't uh, like one's better than the other necessarily. Or organic's uh, going to be a better, cheaper. I, let's. I will. I will bring that up actually. So, so if somebody looks for um, the type of lead that comes to the company, 
The worst type of lead is when the consumer didn't buy into the company itself. Right. And that's a big thing to make about the organic. And we'll, we'll probably wrap up on this one, but, it, 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 but this is an important point. If they're buying a lead that gets sold to multiple people, that's probably the worst thing you can get. Yeah. More often than not, the consumer is buying into the lead source. The consumer the knows provider. the lead source, not to mention them, but everybody <clears throat> knows who they are, these lead sources. There's only like two, three of these, right? Four, right. four of these. And so they bought into that lead source. I'm going to go to this platform and look for multiple people. But they're not looking for you. They don't care about you. You're just a stark little listing. You don't have any way to... They're not making your site and your brand look good. They're making their brand look good and the consumer's bought into the lead source brand. Right. So when you get that client and your plumber buying those leads, there are certain things that happen here, whether it's a pay-per-click or you bought a lead. So one thing that happens is that you're not pushing your brand, you're pushing somebody else's brand. The clients that you get from these aren't as loyal and right. don't care about you. And you guys know this, they, they know this because uh, do you know that nowadays these guys will get people out and some of the younger generation, not, not labeling who they are, will buy a house, you know, or starting to buy homes? They don't care at all. They don't care about personal relationships or, or connecting with anybody. They'll get like six or seven um, bids, unashamedly, no, like no, no shame, just six or, oh yeah, come on, I know we wasted all your time, come on out here and bid this. No, uh, no, your second guy out, we're getting five more. Yeah. You know, we're going to pick the cheapest one. We don't care. Yeah. And, and then it's we'll, always just the cheapest one. You've got good reviews. We'll bash you on, you know, <coughs> online if you do a bad job. But we'll find out the cheapest. And then people will leave like, God, oh, you know, gee, this is rough. Way to do business. <laughs> so that's much, much, much more likely to happen when you get a lead. Right. So if you're paying, if you're clicking on ads, you could, you could make this reference back to yourself in your head if, and, and mostly people watching this can remember flipping through the yellow pages. And as you flip through the yellow pages, you circle a few or call a few and you call like three of them, right? Right. And then you pick one, but you weren't really buying into a brand at this point. You didn't know who you were gonna call. So that's- It was what, all you had to go on was a, a little ad and a phone call. So you got a little yeah. ad and you like it, it's pretty or it's not, you like the name and how they sound the phone, what was their price. Or the introductory price they have listed or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and you called and you chose, but you weren't tied into them yet much, but it was a little bit better. That's pay-per-click. Right. So pay-per-click is like boom, click, click, and you're shopping through little ads. Again, the main company who does the ad, the search engine isn't interested in pushing you your brand that well through that ad is kind of stark looking, not real embellished. It's the brand they're coming to to choose. Right. Once you go to an organic web presence though, then all of a sudden you're building your own brand. And the money that you pay into that not only has a three to 500% better return than paying for leads or clicks, you're able to build your brand. So money goes to build your own brand. And people that are looking at a branded web presence and then looking at reviews and online content and blogging or a social platform or a logo or a pretty web design, all of a sudden those people are buying into your brand. Right, they go there, they read through your website, and despite what you may have heard, they do read through these websites. Yeah. Um, there, there's a, a myth got started a few years ago that nobody reads web content. And yeah. it was like everybody just knew that, and it was common knowledge, it was proven. Well, no, it's not, because people do read, and we know this, you because can read the analytics on it. Yeah. You can read the analytics and we have we have our potential clients who call us and they've read they've read half our site. Oh, yeah. I read your pages on this, 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 and they rattle it off. Happens all the time. So yeah. people that you know, people that are going to buy will devour more information. Yeah. And when they go to your website and they've read all that stuff and they've maybe then looked at your social media, which is linked from that website, they get the feeling especially these young people who we will not say the name of their generation. <laughs> um, Jason's tired of me bagging on large groups of, <laughs> large groups of people. Most but, of the large groups they, of people. But they will, they, yeah. they put a lot of stock in that virtual relationship. They think they get to know somebody through that stuff and they, that's enough for them to feel like they're comfortable with that person. So most of these people, most people have not experienced a high return on organic because they haven't invested enough or haven't gotten the right company to help them. Right. And they don't realize that when somebody comes off an organic web presence, they're very unlikely to shop. They're gonna shop way less and they're buying into your brand and you're creating repeat clientele. When you pay someone else to give you a lead 
you're increasing that platform's repeat clientele. That customer that came from that platform is very unlikely to stay loyal to you and very likely to go and just dog at us the cheapest price each time. Yeah. When they come through Sort your, by cheapest price. So your Don. design and logo and pictures and personalization and reviews and blog and content and social media and videos and all this stuff, and they like you, they're going to call you. I mean, that's the lead you want ultimately. I should have made that statement earlier, but that's the lead you want. Right. That is the lead that grows the business. It's absolutely crazy to not work on it. So it defies all logic not to go hardcore. I have other people too look at organic and, and I think they get this thought in their head like, well, those are the big guys up there. That's so and so and so and so. They gotta spend, you know, mega amounts of money. I don't have six figures to spend on this stuff. They're not spending that much money. Yeah, you know, we do. Sites. You're spending more on PPC than they're, or, or lead buying than they're spending on organic. We do phenomenal integrated websites, custom code, custom design, custom content. We integrate righteous reviews and reputation management software, which is a whole different subject matter, which is badass. And we do all that. And we have stuff that starts for less than a thousand dollars a month, much less than a thousand and nine hundred bucks to start on a month to month. Right. As of the date of this airing. And um, yeah, right. Good Disclaimer. change tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> keep getting that call there. Now we got good rates though. But you guys, you know, you you ought to be fighting for these organic people that are up there. Fight for them for a reason. You know, if you want to, if you want a kind of uh, an analogy, the organic result is kind of the modern equivalent of the word of mouth or the referral. Yeah, it's like the twenty first century Porch version stoop. of that. T yeah. next to the piano, yeah. bowling alley. Since nobody does that anymore, yeah. the organic result is the closest thing we have to that. And everybody knows that that referral or word of mouth was the strongest lead you could get. Right. It's like, oh, my cousin knows a guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was good stuff. But yeah, I mean, it, it, this is this is the stuff you ought to be fighting for. So pay per click can be fine, but man, you ought to fight for the organic. And frankly, we're just absolutely stupendous at, at organic. So. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening to the first true client story, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time. Call us when you're ready. See ya.